Okay, so I just picked up one of these DeWalt chargers here. And I'm getting attacked by a dog. Stay. Stop being a brat proxy. It's the third time trying this again. Yes, I'm doing it on the floor because it's minus 50 outside Celsius, which is 58 Fahrenheit. And I decided to go pick up one of these cheap chargers. It was on sale, 109 bucks Canadian. So it's a DeWalt. There's a model number if anyone wants to look it up. The reason why I got this one here is it has the normal cables here. Two on the back. Uh, if you want a second set here, you got to buy them separately. But you can. You just got the standard studs here for hooking up, uh, hooking up a dual bank. That's kind of sweet. But it's a 30 amp charger. It has some different features here, as you can see. So battery recondition, polarity protection, USB, has a pass-through on the power cord end, but alternator check. It's a pretty decent one. It does wet, gel, and AGM batteries. I'll flip it over to show you guys the other side before I open it up. I'll just go slowly. You guys can read that, but yeah, it's not too bad. Not too bad. Now, I'll notice one thing here. It says 30 amp battery charge. It's only 12 volt, it doesn't do 6 volt, which doesn't bother me. I really don't need to ever do anything like that. But one thing I notice here, it says uh, 30 amp and 80 amp. There's no slow charge, but it does say battery conditioning, uh, recondition, so it has to go down to 2 amp somewhere. I just don't see it written on the box. Even here, it doesn't say it anywhere, but I bet you if I type in the specs online, you'll find that information. Uh, because everywhere it shows here, it only shows 30 amp and it shows uh, 80 amp boost. Now, also another thing is if you're doing the multi-bank here using the front and the built-in connection, you're only going to be charging at 30 for both of them, not 30 each, I mean, so 15 for each of them. Give me a second here, I'll unbox it and see what else it says. Okay, so one thing I noticed, it does come with the fuse. That kind of sucks. I was hoping it'd be PCT, which is an auto reset fuse, but it's not. It's a glass fuse. So that's not too big of a deal. And yeah, nothing here does it say that you can go lower than 30 amps for your charging, but I'm sure of it is going to have it. Just the fact that it has to recondition, you really can't do that at a high voltage or high amperage, I should say. Okay, so I just popped it out here. One thing I'm going to say, nice rubberized front, has this rubber bumper on it here, some nice venting on the side, a couple handles here, has a quarter amp 12 volt fan on it, so that is pretty nice. Uh, clamps themselves are full metal, nice setup, they wrap around it, 2018 model here, oh, I see 12 volt 15 amp, oh, so does that mean this back cord here? No, I gotta read that once I pull it open. I'm gonna look up the manual and everything here, but this is just a general unbox. What I think of it. But it looks pretty awesome. Hmm. That one goes nice and tight. No, I don't like that. You see this? Look at the bulge. Oh, I got dog hair on it already. That's right out of the box. That one's tight. This guy's nice and loose. Huh. Well, if it works, it doesn't really matter. It's going to have a wire on it. Uh, let's plug it in and see what happens. I'm not sure if you guys heard that, but I just turned it on. The fan turned on, shut back off. Don't have any batteries hooked up to it, so I doubt anything's going to do anything. Bank one, bank two. But... What I'm going to do is, I guess, temporarily hook up a battery and just see the different options. Because if it's only 30 amp, that kind of sucks, but we're about to find out. Okay, so I just got it in the sunroom here, unheated, unvented. I'm not going to let it charge in here long. I'll move it out to the shed, but battery voltage 12.5. It's on bank one. Let's go recon. And that is charge, I guess. Where's that going to a boost setting? 13, 12, 8. Showing how many amps I guess is going into it. So it's nice to see it does go to multiple different ones. But, huh. Well, that's it for this.